So good afternoon to you all. Um, I am Michelle Gauntlet, the Chief Operating Officer at the CPD Standards Office. I am your replacement facilitator for today as Daniel Seale, who's normally here entertaining you all very well, is actually wearing annual leave. Uh, however, we have no idea where he's gone, uh, given that we're in the middle of a lockdown. So um, we'll just wait another minute or two whilst we allow these other people to enter the room. And then I will kick off with the housekeeping rules before I pass over to the lovely Sam, Erica and Hayley. I've got a cup of tea to keep me going. Okay, I think that is everybody at present who's in. Just, I've just had a message from um, my manager, Denise Farman. She's struggling to get in, she said. Um, she's not on the waiting list, or she's not in the waiting room. Okay, let me just... Um, just bear with me, I'll... I'll I'll just make sure she's clicking on the on the right one. <coughs> okay then, whilst we're doing that, um Kirsty, we can we move to the next slide, please? Thank you very much. So, hello, as I've said, uh, my name is Michelle Gauntlet. I am the Chief Operating Officer at the CPD Standards Office. I am your facilitator for today. Daniel, who is your usual facilitator, is away on annual leave. Um, so I'm just gonna take you through the housekeeping um, and then we'll move on to hear the fabulous things that Sam, Erica and Haley have uh, to talk about. Um, so I've got my trusty assistant, Kirsty, because my computer wouldn't share my, my, my screen. So Kirsty, can we go to the next slide, please? Thank you very much. So the time scales for today's session, we have a 50 minute webinar with Q&A at the end. If you've got any questions along the way, please pop them into the chat function and we will catch those at the end and ask the ladies. The recording of today's session will also be available uh, towards the end of the week where we will put it onto our YouTube channel and we will also be sending out the link via email. So keep an eye out for that one. Curse, can we move on? Great. So uh, some of the chat rules, uh, we ask that there is no self-promotion or selling your own products. The chat function will be used as part of the webinar today, so it is quite interactive. But we ask, as I say, that you share your support and ask your questions in there. Just before we continue on, if I could ask that you all switch your videos off, this will be going onto YouTube. So we want to make sure that you're all uh, protected there, that would be great. And just uh, if you can all be muted as well, that would be fantastic. Kirsty, next one, please. Thank you. So we're just going to put out a quick poll now to understand what uh, you feel would be beneficial for the next wave of support webinars. I'm going to pop that one up now for you. Just uh, take two or three, uh, two or three seconds just to go through and answer that. That'll be fab. And some of these topics have come from our um, networking session that we had last week, which was uh, a great session. So we want to be able to provide you with the best support possible. Okay, and I'm just going to end that poll now. So social media, definitely out there. Um, we have got some lots of support available for that one. So I'll make sure that we get that scheduled in over the course of the next 12 weeks and get those topics covered off. Uh, let me just share those results with you. Can you all see those? Fabulous. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Uh, okay, moving on then um, to the next slide we have the lovely Sam, Erica and Hayley. I'm going to hand over to them and I will catch you at the end to gather up your questions and to make sure that we can get those answered for you. Ladies, over to you. Absolutely, yes. Welcome everybody. Uh, just flicking across to those uh, main slides there. 
it'll be uh, really, really uh, interesting to sort of see what's going to be happening in the session today. And welcome to our presenting online as well. But if I'm having a couple of technical issues, but I can't see my slides up. They should have flicked across to me and they haven't done. So bear with me just one second. Give it another go. Okay, I've just popped the slides up there. You should see them. Yeah. Do you want me to do the slide deck, Sam? Yeah, gonna have to. A few technical issues with my point in just a second ago. Not entirely sure why. Very, very odd. I can't see those slides yet, Erica. It's still on the uh, the other slide deck. Hmm. We said this a second ago, didn't we? When we were just talking a moment ago in regards to uh, there was an issue with sharing. Do we want to bring just stop those slides um, sharing then and then that might uh, it feels like Zoom's having a bit of a wobble today so should we just try again? Yeah give it another go I'll, I'll give it another whirl see if it makes there you go. difference. There, there we, we go. go. <laughs> yeah the Zoom, Zoom did an update in the back end of December interestingly and there's just been a few little quirks with it that we've kind of noticed obviously we work on it all the time uh, so you get very very familiar with just the last sort of few little bits and pieces that it does uh, so yes that was an interesting one anyway good afternoon welcome then to presenting online this is 50 minutes my name's sam just going to introduce myself uh, as we start to move through into the session and uh, of course as just been mentioned this session is going to be recorded as well my name's sam sloan i've got a corporate background in l d that sort of spans over about the last 15 years or so but i've been in the online space for the last 10 years and you get very very familiar with the little nuances of each of the platforms as well i live in uh, manchester and i love anything to do with aviation but i'd want to introduce my other two colleagues that are with me that i work very very closely with um this afternoon and the first one of course is erica thanks sam yeah so my name is erica farmer i'm the founder and director of welcome to learning limited it's really great to be here today um so i've got 20 years corporate learning and development background in some of the uk's largest brands such as british gas uh, lv spec savers and virgin and i've been online facilitating since uh, 2014. i live in the west country in Columpton in devon with my two little pugs pepper and daisy and i will hand over to uh hayley Fantastic. Thanks, Erica. Yep. So I'm Hayley Bird as well. So bringing another, another dynamic, another business to you today. We work very closely and collaborate very closely together and you'll see how that unfolds as the, as the session goes on. Uh, my name's Hayley Bird, as you can see. So again, I'm an experienced online facilitator and designer. So focusing as much on designing great sessions as I do facilitating engaging sessions. Um, so I've got 10 years in learning and development as well. Sounds like, sounds like I've done some time in L&D. Um, and I live down in Exeter uh, in the southwest of England. I've got a very young family, so I've set up my company, HMB Learning Solutions, with a kind of view to bring some more flexibility to my life, uh, to be able to, to do something that I really, really love from home. So that's kind of where, where it's been born from there. So we're going to take you through, uh, hopefully, a really interactive and engaging session today. And that's the purpose, isn't it, when we're talking about uh, presenting virtually, delivering training virtually, doing anything virtually, we want it to be really interesting. So with that in mind, we're just going to take you through some of the tools that we use to communicate online. And we're going to be uh, inviting you to use those tools throughout the session today as well and it'll be an opportunity for you to have a little play around with some of that uh, and hopefully keep you involved and interested as well the other end so because there's so many people in the session today uh, we are going to keep the mics on mute it just helps to manage background noise we, there's no way we can manage all the questions and everything over the mics we'd be here all day so uh, do use the chat for that and I'll show you where to find that in a second if you're not sure where um, before we go on to look at the chat you've also got a number of reactions you can access now as we've been talking about with the updates with Zoom, one of those updates is, uh, relates to where we see the reactions and, and it's changed for some, uh, but not for others yet. So depending on whether you're on the most up-to-date version of Zoom, if you are, you'll be able to see your reactions there in the black toolbar at the bottom of the screen. You can click on that and just give me a little reaction uh, for how you're feeling today. Give me a thumbs up, uh, give me a nice heart emoji, a nice green tick, just to uh, so I can see if you've got those. And if you haven't got them, I can see lots of, uh, lots of people are finding 
finding those reactions now so keep those coming throughout the session as well and if they're not there and you're getting frustrated because you can't see them uh, it's because your reactions will sit in your participants tab so if you open up your participants tab which is again on that toolbar at the bottom you'll also be able to access some reactions at the bottom of the list of names you can see there such as green ticks red crosses and I think there's a few little dots there to put your thumbs up uh, put your hands up and, and and whatever else you fancy doing so do react throughout the session today we'll be inviting you to do that and encouraging you to to interact and, and use those to be able to do that as well Okay, so the other thing we're going to be using, we already are, is the chat. Um, I can see lots of people already using the chat box there. So do say hi in there. It'd be good to see you. Make sure that when you're sending messages in there that you've got everyone selected and you're not sending them to us privately because it'd be great to be able to see messages there coming in from all of you. Uh, and it's good to see so many people there using that. And we'll be guiding you into that quite a bit again throughout the session today. So good afternoon, everybody. And thanks there for, for having that one open as well. Okay, so in addition to that, we're nearly there. We'll just very quickly talk to you about the Zoom annotation tools. We could we could create very busy slides very quickly with the number of the session today. <laughs> um, at the top there, it says you're viewing Sam Sloan's screen. So just next to that, you can see uh, an option where it says view options. If you click on that and click on annotate, it opens up a nice little annotation toolbar which allows you to decorate the slides as you wish. So you've got op options to, to put text on, to draw, to stamp, whatever you like. So uh, we'll just have a little practice with those. I can see loads of people now starting to put things on, which is great. Um, you can practice writing. We're going to be texting today. So select the text tool, create a little text box on the screen there, pop your name in. Wow. Or whatever you like <laughs> and then and then click away make sure if you're texting that you click away so that we all see at our end because if you don't you can only see at your end so I can see oh, that's brilliant great stuff uh, lots of scribbles there uh, and so many of you getting involved which is just brilliant that's the okay. best whiteboard I've seen all week that I was one. gonna say that's pretty, <laughs> pretty impressive it's a shame we're gonna have to clear it all now I so we... <laughs> I'll, I'll move it on a little bit I'll go forwards with us uh, but, uh, now, beha now beha behave yourselves it's so tempting isn't it just to decorate <laughs> every slide but but contain yourselves um, and you can see here you can change the color there's loads the stuff you can do change your font size your font width uh, your your line width etc okay so that's a very quick overview of the tools there um just to get us going you can see a nice big map of the world there so let's all dream big where do we want to go where in the world are we going to go as soon as we can uh, escape escape our countries and travel the world again so grab a stamp tool there from your annotation anywhere on that on that map there let us know where you would like to go where's your favorite place in the world Fantastic. Once again, you can see a nicely decorated slide here. Everyone getting involved, which is just brilliant. And a real global spread as well. Just want looking in the chat, you know, the Barbados and Sweden and Italy and all sorts of uh, different places as well on the call, which is awesome. Fantastic. Maybe that's a question I should have asked is let us know where you are. <laughs> uh, would have worked quite well, wouldn't it? We could have seen that spread. But hey, it's, it's nicer to dream about where we'd like to be. <laughs> Good stuff. Brilliant, guys. Well done. So we're just going to uh, we're going to clear those down very shortly. I'm just conscious of time. We're going to move you on now into our agenda for the session. So I'm going to pass you over to Erica. Thank you so much, Haley. I was just busy in the chat answering <laughs> questions then, so you just caught me. Um, so fantastic. Thanks, everybody, for engaging uh, so much uh, so far. And, you know, Zoom lends itself perfectly to this kind of interactive learning. I was just chatting with some folk around teams in, 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 the, uh, in the chat as well. So let's have a look at our agenda for our session today. So we're really going to be looking at the impact of 2020 and COVID, you know, massive changes around virtual interaction, virtual meetings virtual learning um, you know a lot of people working from home now as we know March 23rd pivoted online for a lot of learning and development and the three of us working together have been hugely busy working with L&D and HR functions to enable them to upskill and, and understand that this is a very different skill set very different mindset so uh, so fantastic to bring you a bit of a taster to that today. Um, we're going to look at mindsets, particularly around virtual learning. Um, some people are still in that space. Oh, it's not good enough as as face to face. You know, it's it's not the same. No, it's it's definitely not the same. Actually, if you if you speak to one of us and we'll show you some tips and tricks today, it can be as good as, if not better, is my challenge to you guys. And we'll show you how to do some of that stuff. Um, and also, we're going to be bringing you some information around our dial up digital accredited program. 
So that is a programme accredited by the CPD Standards Office. So we're really clear um, that we're, we're, we're over the moon to bring this to you in partnership, uh, where you can really get your mindset, skill set, tech capability, learning pedagogy to feel confident enough to smash it out of the park every time you design and deliver for online. OK. So let's just uh, move on then. So let's kind of over to you guys a little bit on this one. Um, we're really interested around what would you like to get out of the session today? So go back to your annotation tool for me. That's the one that we all have um, a drawing on the screen. And I want you to click on the T for text. So if you need to go back to get your annotate again, remember hover your mouse to the top of the screen. You've got your options, click on options, click on annotate, and then click on the T for me. Click on the T and then just type on that whiteboard, that screen for me. What are you most interested in finding out today in today's session? Here we go. Some great stuff popping up. And don't worry, don't worry about typo, typos or grammar or anything like that. And Sam can move those around a little bit. There we go. If you want to click on the format box on your annotate toolbar, you can change the color and the font and the size of your typing as well. And I've got a funny feeling this is going to get very busy very quickly. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what we'll do is just start to filter that down. If you haven't typed on the whiteboard yet, stick your answers in the chat instead, because we're going to get a lot of information here because we've got a lot of people on the session um, already. So if you haven't put your answers on the whiteboard yet, stick it in the chat for us instead so we can make sure we're capturing everything. But uh, let's have a look what's coming up here. Just capturing some um, some uh, overall topics, interesting presentations, engagements coming up, how to use Zoom more effectively, how to keep people engaged. Yeah, you know, in this online space, we used to say for LD content was king. Actually, now engagement is king, and you drive engagement through interactivity. Uh, and, and we're very passionate around this kind of stuff. So already we've used a plethora of Zoom tools, and we're asking you to gauge at, at, at least every five minutes maximum we're asking something for you because that enables you to really engage with what we're doing um, and understand that information that's coming through you're going to be moving that info from the short-term part of the memory to the long-term part of the memory and you're more likely to be able to recall it and do something with it as well so a lot of the stuff that we do really sits in the science of how the brain learns best online which is why interactivity and engagement is so so important Lots of stuff here around um, uh, general hits and tips, how to engage the audience, good presentations, good content. Yeah, we'll be sharing all of this information with you guys today. We won't be going through how to use Zoom polls and whiteboards and stuff like that. That's what our dial up digital program partly covers alongside so uh, much more else as well. And we'll be sharing the, bro the brochure of that in the uh, chat box very shortly. Fantastic guys, excellent. Yeah, brilliant. Lots of stuff here. Yeah, there's a lot of functionality stuff coming up today, specifically around Teams. I can see some IT issues. We're not going to go into the level of detail of that today, but what we're going to do is give you a high level overview of some of the art of the possible and signpost you around where you can get some more information from us on this. But I'm now going to hand over to Sam, who's going to talk to us a little bit more around the journey that we've been on, particularly in the virtual space since COVID and lockdown um, and what that kind of stuff means. Keep your questions and queries coming into the chat box and Hayley and I will respond as much as we can in there as well. Over to you, Sam. Yeah, thank you very much. Let me just clear all of that down. I am saving these whiteboards as well. So please don't think I'm just kind of, you know, d deleting stuff, if you like, uh, as we kind of move through. So, um, you know, so many different comments on there, just kind of, and, and of course in the chat as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So thank you very, very much for all of that. Yeah, COVID, COVID hit. I mean, I've been in the online space as Erica and Hayley has as well for, you know, for a long time, for, for many years. And we've seen shifts, we've seen trends, we've seen things come and go, but you know, we've never seen anything like what happened last March. And it was like a complete and utter gallop of panic, I think it would be fair to say, of actually businesses trying to transpose learning, meetings, everything into the online space all of a sudden. And we've supported dozens, if not hundreds of businesses over this last sort of 10 months. It was unprecedented what happened last March and the shift that businesses have had to make, which has actually, to be honest, I think spurred an awful lot 
of businesses into this space that maybe were thinking about it, teetering on the edge, whatever you want to call it, but it's given them that push to actually take that stance and take that step, which for me, I think actually needed to happen. Because just like Erica mentioned just a few moments ago, actually all of this, you know, arena can be used in a really productive way. And I think it just needed individuals to sort of recognize that almost for themselves. So this time you're gonna need your phones. So grab your phone. Now we will break poll everywhere now. This is gonna fill up super quickly. And what I would like you to do is, I would like you to go onto your phone and click in pollev.com. And then once you, once you are on that page, yeah, I can see Erica's just popping in some uh, bits and pieces here around how to sort of get in touch afterwards, et cetera, which is brilliant. But yeah, go onto your phones or your computer, whichever. It doesn't matter if you've got two screens, three screens, and type in pollev.com. And then the username that it will request is one, two, three people dev, and they are zeros, not O's. <laughs> it always reminds me of uh, like four, ca four candles, <laughs> that very, very famous um, sketch, of course, where he's asking for O's. <laughs> okay. So once you're logged in, what I would like you to do is just one word at a time, and this is going to fill up really quickly. What's been the biggest shift for you in the online space during last year? What's, what's moved you? What, what's made you do this? What's been the biggest shift? And what will happen is you will see this start to fill up because it's a word cloud. <coughs> Lovely, interviewing. And just one word that you put in. So the more people that actually type the same word in, like teaching, for instance, will start to get bigger and bigger. Yeah, Zoom. I've seen in chat as well, a lot of, um, you know, talking about how do we do this in Teams? How do we do that in Zoom? How do we do this? You know, whiteboards, all the rest of it. Every single platform has different capabilities. Zoom, personally, I feel is probably one of the best for collaboration for this type of thing. It's, it really is good. And you filled it already. It doesn't take uh, tons of responses to this because this is just a free account. But of course, we've got 130 people in this webinar this afternoon. <clears throat> Don't worry um, if you haven't been able to join. Unfortunately, yeah, it does have a very limited capacity. I think there is a need for a potential uh, purchase of this particular product because the amount of webinars that we're doing that we break poll everywhere uh, is, is quite funny. But let's just have a look at some of the words. Yeah, we've got, you know, sort of the remote, that tr your treatment, acceptable, confidence, demonstrations, necessity. It has become a necessity, hasn't it? having to use these types of platforms. It really has. Uh, and like I've said, these are the types of things that you can sort of share with your teams when you've done um, all of the activities, etc. I think somebody mentioned earlier about things like Jamboard. I think it was Erica answering a question around whiteboards in Teams, which are very difficult initially. Of course, in Zoom, you don't tend to have the same issues. So guys, you may not everybody have uh, been able to get on there, unfortunately but it's just another opportunity to show you actually the, the um, well, the separate applications that you can use that aren't necessarily just in the platforms as well. So thank you very much for that. And again, please continue to pop them into chat if you want to get involved and Erica and Hayley will respond to all of those um, responses, of course, in chat. So shifts online, some of the things that we've noticed. That webinar to virtual classroom, meetings, presentations, think about the things that were just on that word cloud just a second ago. There was a huge shift all of a sudden and there was a complete and utter panic, um, which again, I slowed a little, but you know, we've still seen it. That accelerated digitization all of a sudden, whether you were computer savvy or not, whether you had systems or not, it really pushed people and businesses into this space as well. Environment distractions, who's working from home? Just give us a green tick. Just give us a green tick if you're working from home. It's either going to be in your reactions or it's going to be in your participants panel. <laughs> like the way you're using the slide as well. Like it, like your style. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know, probably the vast majority of us now are working from home, which, of course, you know, by the look of uh, the, the ticks and the crosses, and I know they disappear, then certainly within, within the video panels, if you like. Then, of course, all of a sudden, you know, we've got those 
distractions that we wouldn't have had normally at work. You know, you've got the postman knocking on the door or, you know, your partner bringing you in a cup of tea or the kids shouting or the dog barking or whatever it is all of a sudden. We've got different environment distractions that we had that didn't have 12 months ago necessarily. Work-life balance. Just raise your hand if you've been working longer hours since working from home. Now it's either in the reactions you raised hand or it's on the panel. Absolutely. Look at us all. Look at that lot. There is so many people now that I've been working longer hours. Well, I may as well work because I'm bored. I'm going to watch go and watch the TV. May as well do a bit of work. Well, absolutely. Well, then that work-life balance now all of a sudden is out of kilter. And that's exactly what it is that we, you know, for our well-being that we want to kind of start to challenge. How do people stop working on the screen if you don't want that? You can turn that off. That's a great question. So if I wish to, I could turn the annotation tools off. I can also turn off the names as well. So as you can see, people typing on there, so you can actually anonymize um, the annotation as well. So thank you for all of that. And I'll just um, lower all of those hands as well. Brilliant stuff. And of course, probably one of the biggest things that we see the most is thought there was something else on there clearly isn't it is that kind of lack of confidence if you like in this arena and that's something that we're still seeing very very much so challenges of the virtual environment now let's see what specifically you guys are finding challenging so again let's bring up another whiteboard here because i'm just kind of curious to see specifically now what have you found challenging what you're struggling with what's one of the biggest things that gets in your way how do you anonymize the annotations or oh, turn it off please so it's quite handy though to have the names on but yes i can turn that off if i wanted to and i can actually turn it off in here as well so if i wanted to hide the names if you like that will stop will stop the names popping up I can do that and I can also da uh, disable the annotations as well, but it's actually quite useful having the names on whilst we're on whiteboards. So this is going to fill up massively. The other one, all of a sudden, it just seemed to ping in. And it looked like there was absolutely hundreds of um, sort of comments on here. So let me just try and move these around. I think Hayley and uh, Eric can potentially shift a few of these around as well for me. But let's just literally just you know, pick out a couple. I can see the very, very top one there. And I think that's Michelle that's actually said that, you know, virtual and screen burnout. I mean, goodness me, you know, how many hours are we sitting in front of a screen? How many of us aren't even taking breaks? You know, I'm just as guilty as anybody. I can't exactly sit here and say, oh, you should be having breaks when, you know, I've been sat here since quarter to eight this morning and I've stood up twice. So I can't say, you know, that to anybody, because we're all in a very, very similar boat. Eye strain, this is something else as well. And I think Eric has uh, potentially got something around that as well. I think you had, did you have some eye drops or something that you've bought, Erica? Yeah, yeah. I, um, I, uh, the Optrex uh, is a good investment for anybody sitting in front of uh, screens for a long period of time. It makes a massive difference. Absolutely. Training staff, another one. You know, this has been a real challenge. How all of a sudden do we have that face to face or that whatever it was sort of meeting content? How do we plonk it into this space and actually make it work? Because it's that bit that people are really struggling with, maybe conversion of material. You know, oh, it doesn't matter. You know, let's just put those very text heavy slides, for instance, straight in here. It'll be fine. And then wonder why we're not getting the outcomes that we were kind of looking for. So there's a very specific way in regards to that online learning meetings etc presentations should be structured and again that's something else that we talk about in our program because we look at design because we tend to see that that's again another area that's lacking too many platforms i can see here gosh there's loads of, i mean you know feeling not good enough imposter syndrome this is something else that somebody you know quite a few people have been talking about too much sitting time unreliable broadband all of this i bet there's probably very little up on that board there and you know erica and Haley, i have no doubt are also reading this that actually we probably don't to some degree cover in the workshop because this is now the new normal this is life this is now not going to go anywhere overnight at all and we know that and we recognize that and that's why we've pulled together all of our experience can actually help and support with this so let me just clear that whiteboard down again just so we can move on and just have a look at some of these challenges engagement in the virtual space again 
the amount of people that I speak to that say, oh, well, I ask a question and nobody answers. Why don't they answer? That's the type of thing that we actually explore as well. Those webinar to virtual classroom meeting presentations, like I've just been saying there, how do we convert it? What do we do? How and what's the difference between a webinar and a virtual classroom? What is actually the difference? And again, this is something else that we talk about. Back to those environment distractions, like we just said a few moments ago. Work-life balance again, but here, this is the biggest one. That unskilled in presentation and design. And that anxiety level really starts to pick up when we start to have a look at thinking about, you know, coming onto that next meeting or, oh my God, I've got to do whatever it is. And that anxiety level really isn't great for our wellbeing. And again, this is something that we tend to see every day. Now, one of the things that I've just noticed on that board just a second ago was actually things like design. You know, how, how do we, you know, what's the difference? Why, why do we need to do things differently in here? Now, using your stamp tool here, I'd like you to click off for me or check off, I should say, using the stamp tool. If all of these types of things are familiar to you, maybe within your presentations or maybe even within webinars, for instance, that maybe you have attended. Can you tell us how you're clearing the whiteboard, anonymizing an input as you go along? Absolutely. <laughs> we certainly can. Um, it's all in the settings and I have different tools. Absolutely. I have different tools as a host and presenter than the, um, than the main delegates do, if you like. So I can move things around, etc. that type of thing. And of course, I can an anonymize it and I can do all of that from the settings within the session. OK, so I'm seeing an awful lot lots of blocks of text tons of it there's a reason as to why we shouldn't use that in here very complex charts you know different types of font one minute you're on calibri next minute you're on something else and then all of a sudden it's all a little bit mixed up um bullet points galore yep yeah. overstretched images or really distorted and that good old template as well surely these these are methods but mistakes <laughs> Oh, I like that, Lee. Absolutely, yes. Aren't they just? So these are traditional methods that we've seen. Have I designed slides like this in the past? I've got a corporate background. Absolutely, I have. Of course I have. But when you start to really feel and want to be a part of an immersive experience within here, then all of a sudden we need to start to look at things just in that slightly different way. But I really like uh, Lee's comment there. So again, thank you for that. So again, let me just clear all of those down for you. And I know you just keep carrying on putting them on, which I think is actually quite good. Okay, back to the stamp tool. Who, uh, or sorry, how many of these tools have you used before? Now, I was going to use a poll here, but I'm going to use the stamp tool instead, actually. So I'm going to bring them all in. And I want to know how many of these tools have you actually used before and this is going to get a really crazy busy slide yeah polling annotation video whiteboards breakout rooms chat hold and send what's that oh. recording the session emoticons yeah absolutely chat sharing screen that's what i'm doing now audio but then how many do we just use audio just put the video on and then it just becomes a video call not really use the functionality within let's just say team zoom whatever it is webex pass control you can pass keyboard and mouse control file transfer as well so what we can also do is things like you know pop a brochure into the chat for you or i don't know if you were in a training session for instance put it pop in a handout icebreakers that map that we did right at the very very beginning open mic but also things like sharing application as well and you can mix all of these up. And this is what it's all about. I, uh, I use audio for music online meditation. Perfect. You can embed it into the slide. I created a meditation deck for a client. I had clouds moving on the slide with some music in the background. It was awesome. It just works brilliantly. It's just about knowing how to do it. And that's all it is. So again, thank you for all of that. So it looks like a lot of people are using quite a lot of the tools, which is fantastic. But again, uh, how well and how much are you actually utilising or maybe that you actually don't physically know is even there. 
So what would be the impact then for you now, if you get this right? And let's make chat go mental. What would be the impact for you if you could get it right in this arena? You come away, you're motivated, you, you're inspired, you're, you know, at the end of the day, yeah, you, you, you're tired, of course you are, but you know, you kind of shut that door on, whether it be the dining room, off your couch, the bedroom door, well, it doesn't matter, wherever you've been working. What difference would it make? Absolutely, engaged participants, Michelle. Brilliant, and I can't even begin to start reading all of these out. Absolutely. Gathering information, perfect. What's the best layout on your screen? So you can see the audience's slides and your notes. I have a second machine behind me. So I've got three screens, I've got a laptop and I've got a second screen behind me. So I have my notes behind the camera. So if I'm glancing up at the notes, it still looks like I'm looking at you. So there's lots of little different things that we can do to really improve how we work in this space. If you stop typing, just give me a hands up, a raised hand, if you're working on one screen, one laptop. Just raise your hand. <coughs> if you've got just a laptop or maybe just a computer with one screen, just raise your hand. This is something else that we find as well. Yeah, look at that lot. It's an absolute life changer when you change the way you work and how you use the functionality that is around around us if you like and if we've got the capability of using it then that's exactly what we should do should, should be doing because it just makes our life so much easier <laughs> i'm loving the big heart all the way around okay uh superb i'm actually going to take a screen snip of that because i think that's a <laughs> that's a cracking one uh, to take the screen uh, screen snip of okay I mean, look at how many people there's 23 people to hand up that's working either on one laptop or just on one screen. Gracious me. You know, it's a game changer. Absolutely, Hayley. I could not agree with you more. OK, I'm just going to clear those down. I'm going to hand over to Erica now, who's going to talk us through a little bit more about the programme. Yeah, thanks, Sam. And thanks, everybody, so much for all of your interactions so far. We've barely scraped the surface, guys. We've literally just given you a little something to dangle in front of you to get more interested. And hopefully you've been able already to take away some tips and tricks from today. So, yeah, so Dial Up Digital is our accredited programme, which uh, certifies people through the time they go through CPD points, a certification, and you get a really fantastic online learning experience. Experience. It's created by the three of us. So you've got years of experience in the online space. It's an 18 hour workshop broken into four modules of four and a half hour sessions. Highly experiential, highly engaging and interacting. The style that you've seen us deliver in today is exactly the type of style you get to experience, but also to learn how to design and deliver in this space. It's hugely immersive, this program. We don't just come along and, and talk at you for four and a half hours or for 18 hours in total. We really drop you right in the middle of it, scenario based, giving you all those tools in that toolkit. We can deliver dial up on any uh, platform um, that's, uh, that you wish. So if you want to have an internal workshop, for example, if you're a corporate L&D functional training provider and you've got a number of people you'd like to put through it, then we're really flexible in terms of that. We have open workshops and the dates are in the brochure. We're just going to drop that brochure into the chat for you to download as well. Um, you'll have a, um, a, an opportunity there to download that and use that um, to have a look a bit more about the programme. I, uh, <laughs> I was just distracted there by Ed's comment. How come your hands don't get lost when you don't? <laughs> Articulate. And you know what? It's because I've got a good machine. Number one, all of this stuff is around processing power and memory. So if you're delivering online sessions and you go ghost like and weird, or your, your machine crashes halfway through, your videos crash halfway through, it's because you don't have enough RAM of processing power in your machine. So that's that's the difference there. So great shout. And um, workshops um, are available um, throughout 2021. Um, so we've got, you know, February's workshop starting on the 15th of February. Um, we've got a couple of spaces available in that if you're interested. And then we have dates March, April, May, June, etc. Um, so do get in touch with one of us. We're really pleased to bring this to you for 995 plus fat per 
uh, individual. So you get 18 and a half hours accredited learning and everything you need to smash it in the virtual space. And you get to meet other people. It's really competitive in the market. And this product is really innovative and different compared to everything else which is available uh, at this time. Okay. Um, for being a member of the CPD standards as well, we're happy to uh, reduce that price for you for um, uh, £100. So if you do like to get in touch with one of us, just let us know that you are calling in from the CPD standards office and you've been on the webinar uh, today. Okay, so let's have a look at the objectives for the program then to explore and challenge those mindset sets. So we really hold that mirror up and really understand what are your fears, what are your confidences, what is it that you're struggling with, and what's the gap between you really feeling like you smash it in the online space? Absolutely. Yeah, discount for um, CP CIPD members, no, it's to do with the CPD there, but open programs. Um, demonstrating online, uh, skills, knowledge and behaviours. So we're going to talk about what is going on for you um, when something happens, the tech doesn't work or somebody challenges you or you go to do an exercise and it doesn't quite go right. How do you manage yourself? That self-talk that starts to erode your professionalism and the confidence that the learners have in you. What's going on there for you? So we, we, we help you with that. We help you to create that highly successful learning environment. So what key levers can you start to pull to be really influential? What are your competencies? What are your capabilities? We want you to become away from the session feeling that you've got a mastery in technology. We'll be looking at design of interactive online learning because it's very different to the in-person space. Design for interactivity and engagement. And that is going to drive that knowledge retention. So some of the, um, uh, some of the comments that you guys made earlier around I just want to be able to train again I want learners to learn again this is exactly what we're talking about and you know there's a teach back in this as well so you actually after all of the learning and practice you come back to us with uh, showing us what you've learned and, and you come along uh, come away with a written report around what went really well and what could be even better next time your continuous professional development plus you get your CPD points as well okay so what's in it for you? Well, we started to talk about that already. You guys will know this. You'll, you'll get an official recognised certificate um, for being on the programme. So again, we partner with the CPD Standards Office. This is an example of what that looks like. So you've got something to take away to show clients or your employer or your boss or if you're applying for jobs at the moment, you've got something there in terms of being able to say, I'm at the forefront of digital L&D at the moment. And here's an example of that. Um, other main things that you get through that as well? Well, of course, it's accredited learning, so you do get your CPD points. Uh, if we can just go back one, thank you, just digital badges as well. So there's three digital badges that you'll take away. Your accredited CPD digital badge, your I've dialed up my design digital badge, and I've dialed up my digital delivery badge as well. And of course, that written feedback that we've already talked about. So back over to Hayley then, just to kind of manage any other questions that you might have. Uh, and Hayley will wrap up the rest of the session for you as well. And I'll take over the comments in the chat. OK, Hayley, over to you. Brilliant. I was going to say, I've just been typing as, much, as fast as I possibly can. And I think I've probably covered off many of the questions uh, that have been coming in there, actually, um, just to try and keep ahead of a bit of Q&A housekeeping there uh, as we close to the end of the session, because uh, I, I, I've got a feeling there's a few uh, as well. So Heather's asking, there's a few people asking about a second screen. Um, it's all in your display settings on your PCs. Uh, so, so go into there. You need to uh, move, extend your screen display so that effectively what you've got is one really big screen that you can move between rather than duplicating those screens where they're just giving you the same thing. So you want to look for extending your displays in your settings on your PC. Uh, you'll be able to find a lot on, uh, on, on of YouTube videos and things explaining how to do that to look into it a little bit more. Um, the dial-up digital course, Nikki, so for uh, CPD members it is uh, £100 discount at 895 plus VAT. Uh, the full price of the course is 995 plus VAT. Um, and that's for, as Erica said, that's for, for 16, I want to say 16 hours of learning. It's actually 18 hours of 18 learning hours. Uh, yep. over, the, over the four courses. I'll just pop that brochure back in again because I think someone shared something by accident, guys. So I'm just going to drop it back in again. This is the, the dial up digital brochure that's coming now. 
Brilliant. I think I've put it in as well, Erica, it's all right, but the, it'll give a chance to, you know, whoever's in that chat room, because it's really rather full, <laughs> <laughs> uh, to grab it. Yeah, and I can see something's been sent in error there, if everyone can delete it. I think that was sent by a participant in error. Uh, please delete that. Great stuff. OK, so we've also got um, a question around. There's another question here around screen about shared screen. Can you show us on a shared screen, Kim? I think you mean maybe the info from the program again. It might be useful to have that up, actually, Sam, so that for some of those questions where people maybe miss some of the timings, the costings and things like that, you can have a look at that as well. Catherine, love the simplicity of some of the slides. Are they licensed or free online? So these slides are uh, are protected by our dialogue digital brand um, so these are these are designed and are by us but a lot of the images you can find there's a load of royalty free images you can find and we go through sort of where to find them how to find them the best way to do that is all in the program so slide design and how to create slides for a great impact is all included in the program as well brilliant stuff okay so i think the question uh, so, from Kim there as well, Haley. Yeah. Where is the program? Yep. Yeah, so, so there's a couple of so there's a couple of points probably here to touch on. So you've got a brochure which has got all of the information in there for you. So you'll be able to access the dial-up digital brochure, which Erica has popped in the chat for you to download. Uh, it might be worth. I can see a few people are asking for the brochure who can't download it. It might be worth just popping Erica or Sam a little yep. private message in the chat there, so it's for email addresses, so we can send those to you. But do send those in a private chat uh, to one of the other ladies, and we'll make sure we can get a brochure emailed over or Erica again you've got all of our email addresses you can you can contact us directly for that as well uh, so no problem at all and the program itself the dial up digital program is our program that's been accredited through the cpd standards office so we've got a uh, the program is is the learning it's the program that you can kind of purchase to attend as a learner to be able to learn how to do some of the great stuff that we've shown you and and, and shown you that today uh, so hopefully that'll be uh, that'll be answering that one for you OK, so keep the questions coming. We'll continue to answer them. Uh, but we're also going to just as we wrap up the session, we've just got a, uh, a few minutes to go. We'd like to know what your biggest insight has been from the session today. It's been a whistle stop tour. Hopefully we've been able to showcase some of the great stuff you can do online. But what's been the biggest insight for you just in the last 45 minutes? Uh, and if you don't want to access the annotation or you can't, feel free to pop those into chat as well. We, uh, it's good to go across both. And we'll see again this whiteboard fill up, uh, which I think is just fantastic. But one of the great things about having such big groups is having such diverse range of thoughts as well. Uh, how much there still is to learn. Uh, one of the things that we've found, and I'm sure Erica and Sam will agree with me here, we've been working in this space now for a long time, but obviously much more actively in the last 12 months in a position where we've really been supporting people in this space. That is one of the biggest insights is what people have done is gone into this survival mode. So they're just, they're taking everything that they've done face to face and they're bringing it online and seeing what can I do to make this as best as I possibly can. But people don't know what they don't know and that is one of the biggest insights we find when people start looking at this is actually how much there is still out there to be able to really make the most of it and we all feel very passionately about uh, what this what this space is capable of achieving brilliant stuff yeah the potential has come in there is a nice big point so many tools to use not just there but how do I use them to the best effects as well good to hear from the professionals yeah we we will never ever sit here and pretend to know it all because we are updating our skills all the time technology moves as you all know incredibly quickly and we try and keep ahead of that as much as we can with what's available what we can use what we can add to enhance our delivery uh, so so that's that's hopefully what we've been able to bring you today Brilliant. Already doing some of this stuff. So again, reassuring that you're already getting it. There's already stuff out there, already starting to think differently. This is a mindset shift as much as a skill set shift. Uh, and looking for looking for this and looking at it slightly differently will help as well. Engage and learn how much scope there is. Absolutely. The potential you guys have highlighted. Yes, the potential is endless. Uh, it's really exciting, actually. Pace and interaction and energy is, is a really nice observation there as well. Yeah, loving the word cloud, loving the annotations. There's loads of great insights here as well. Lots and bells and whistles to explore, which is fun as well. So I'm glad we've been able to bring so much insight there. Hopefully you've had some questions answered there um, as well throughout the session today and you've got the brochure, but do feel free to email us very shortly. 
and we'll share with you our uh, our QR codes as well. So a nice little nice little quote there just to get you thinking uh, as well. So we'll share with you our websites. You'll be able to see those here. So you've got uh, Welcome To, which is uh, Erica Farmer's company, 123 People Development, Sam Sloan's company, and h &B Learning Solutions, which is mine. We've come together uh, because we see that we've got a diverse set of skills, but we bring, to, we bring these skills together to really kind of edge our passion in this area. Uh, and, and with that comes quite a dynamic uh, course for you and quite a dynamic set of skills that we're really proud of. So, uh, so you've got our QR codes there to access our website websites. Brilliant. Any other questions? Keep them coming. I can see lots of people having to dash off now as well. So I'm not sure if I need to hand back there to uh, Michelle for any further housekeeping or to close the session. Thanks, Hayley. What a great session that was. Ladies, I really enjoyed that. That was so good. Um, Kirsty, are you around? She may have gone. Um, so as the ladies have said, if you've got any further questions, we've still got a couple of minutes. If you want to pop them into the chat, that would be great. I think those questions that you asked along the way were fantastic. And uh, it was great to see how interactive it was. Um, just, just to pick up on the comment on the screen there around expense for a charity, I think uh, it's it's an interesting thought that if you put it in the reframe that in terms of the value and the increase in quality that your trainers and tutors will be able to deliver once they feel super confident in this space, then actually reducing time in training, you know, driving development plans, increasing recall, um, you know, re reducing people driving around and costs and hotels and mileage and things like that. You know, actually, you know, the feedback that we get from a lot of clients, including the, you know, um, public sector and charities is that it's, it's a huge investment in value actually. Yeah, I've, I've just seen um, Michelle's question as well around kind of different industries, file sharing, different applications that we use. So we work really, really closely with organisations and all the departments within those organisations uh, to ensure that what we're what we're using, whether it's different external whiteboards, whether it's sharing files, we make sure that it all sits uh, within their policies as well. So all of all of the training is adapted. Um, and as we say, with all of this, there's not going to be an organization where all of this suits everybody so it's about really being able to make decisions on what you use how you use it depending on what the limitations are with the business but good question yeah okay then well ladies i would like to thank you all for today's session uh, and the participants thank you very much for being so interactive uh, today's session will be available on the youtube channel uh, towards the end of the week and we will of course be emailing out the link to everybody ladies have you got any final parting words before we end the session uh, i just want to say thank you very very much uh, it's been really interesting sort of just watching all the comments come through etc i just want to say thank you for all of the interaction Thanks, yeah. everyone. And thanks, everybody who's requested the brochure in the chat. I've um, been pinging them out as we've been talking. So if you do want the brochure as well, just uh, pop your email address on the DM and I can get that sent out. Wonderful. Right then, uh, everybody, please go and enjoy the rest of your Thursday afternoon. Our next webinar is going to be in two weeks' time. And you will, of course, have a, uh, an email to remind you about that. Um, and also to remind you that we have a uh, monthly networking session as well that we're going to be sending information out to you on. So take care, enjoy the rest of your afternoon, and we will speak to you soon. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everyone.